What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here. I feel like I yelled extra loud that time. Anyways, today it's an upper body routine. It's a chest and tricep routine uh, for what? Chest and tries for the guys? What was that? Is that weird? A little bit. No, not really. Well, because they're guys. Yeah. The channel's like 98% guys. For the homies. Yeah, for the homies. Cool. It's not weird if it's your homie. That's true. So anyways, chest and tries for you guys. No, but seriously. Uh, chest and tricep workout. And this workout was dope as shit because Kevin was like, Kevin was actually my trainer on this one. Hashtag Kevin knows. Kevin was like, yo, you should do this, this, then this. And I was like, wait a minute. That is actually a really good routine. So what we started off with was close grip bench press. I started really, really close. Like more more close, more close than normal. That's so weird. It's not it's not good English. But more close than I would normally do this. I went to like, you guys know uh I'm sure on their barbells, you guys have like the knurling, like the uh yeah, the knurling, that's what it's called. On the bars, like go to the very end of it, right? That's where I started, the very end of it, and then as the sets got heavier. I went probably like a thumb distance from it. So I was like at the very end, so my hand like it just right where it ended, my hand was there. And then as it got heavier, I went out a little bit wider. So where my thumbs were, a little like thumb distance from the end of the knurling. Anyways, worked up to like 315, did sets of 10. Um, I worked up, worked up, and then I did, damn, I actually did a few different styles like in that. And you guys can do this as well. So first thing was just warming up. Didn't worry so much about um, reps, just worried about feeling the movement and then feeling good and feeling good in my triceps. And I remember to focus every time I finish a rep, I'm thinking about squeezing my elbows out. Like in, and my elbows are turning out. You see that? Like pushing my elbows in, but at the same time, to push your elbows in, your elbows are gonna kind of bend. The outside of your elbows, like turning this in, and I'm turning the outside of my elbows out. So every rep I try to finish going like this. Okay, anyway, so those are the concepts. Now, I did the set, the first two working sets, I worked up, I worked up, and then I started like the last two or three reps. I did pause reps, just to just work on power at the end of those sets. Um, I actually did a 405, but I didn't I didn't complete the rep. I've never tried a 405 close grip bench like that, and I got it. I got like halfway up, and then I think like someone came and like put extra weight on it as I was going up, and then it was it like was like five plates instead of four, so it was like extra hard. So I was like, yo, what the fuck? But we didn't film any of that. Um, but anyway, so the way you're doing these sets, do. Warm up sets, don't count any of those sets. Get into your working sets, you're gonna do five total working sets and use two different variations within the five sets. Whether you wanna do three like this or three like that. So like that, the pause reps at the end of each set. So the three to five reps at the end. I hope they're understanding what I'm saying. I mean like, if you do 10, boom, 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 get to eight and then go like one, two, three. Those last three reps being pause reps, okay? Um, you get the 15, the last three, anyways. Um, from there, those are the first, that's the first style that I use in my sets. Do, do, are you understanding this? Because if you're not understanding this, they're not understanding this. I think, I think it's good. You see what I'm saying though? Like you use, you're warming up, and then you have five total working sets. And then either you do three sets like this, and two sets like this, or you do three sets like that, and two sets like that. The point is, but the first time is you're doing the pause. God, this is so difficult. This is so difficult to explain to him. The, the point is at the end of each set, whether you want to do it for three sets or two sets, I would say if you're starting this, first time doing this, do it for two sets because it's going to make the last three sets more difficult. Do for the first two sets, pause, the last three reps of your working sets. And then the next one, you're going to do basically like increase the weight. To, so if you're doing like 225, go to like 255, do less reps and then just do a drop set immediately. So I go like to like 255 for like three, five reps, like if you're doing it for 10 at 225, and then drop the weight immediately and try to go for a set of 10, whether it be going from like 255 to 225 or 255 to like 185. Drop the weight so you can complete 10 right after. Right, so those are the two styles that I was doing today. Um, I don't know if you got all of it, but that's what I did today. But like I said, either do three this way or three that way. Whichever one, I would, I'd recommend doing two, the pause reps, before you try the drop sets with the last three. Anyways, that was like really long and drawn out. If you guys get it, if you don't get it, like comment below, be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Maybe try to explain it on Snapchat or something like that, and I could try and explain it there. Which would be even more difficult, because Snapchat's like 11 seconds, so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, right? This is, all, this is where I should be able to explain it. YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe, because my content's obviously really on point. And really, really, well, anyways. Dan, I got me off track. 
next exercise. Yeah, of course, the next exercise, but you know, can you? Close grip dumbbell press. That's right. So this was a close grip dumbbell press, and what I did, yeah, actually, so you guys think close grip dumbbell press, because they're probably thinking like, what do they hold the dumbbells like this? No, no, so you guys are gonna go to neutral grip dumbbell press, and kind of keep your elbows in as much as you can. They don't have to be like, they don't have to be way in here. This is, this is a little more optimal for some people, but it's where you're comfortable. Make sure your shoulder blades are still tight. And basically what you're doing is instead of pressing here, right, bring your elbows in, it's a neutral grip, and you're gonna notice that it's a little bit easier uh, to press heavier weight. So instead of doing what you would normally do here, not like go crazy with the weight, but use a little bit more weight than you normally would. If you're doing like 10 reps here, you're gonna be able to get probably, mo most likely most people will get those 10 reps easier here, okay? Um, so we're here, and focus on when you're finishing the rep, pressing as much as you can all the way out to contract your tricep. So don't just go like this. Even though some reps, some sets I did do this, because that's that power lifter in me. But try, when, you're, when you guys are doing it, try to come as low as you can. Don't, you don't have to go all the way down to your chest, because you want, you want to basically stop here, so it's staying on your tricep. Go a little bit lower, it's gonna be more shoulder and chest. Try, so stop like 90 degree, and then press straight out and get a contraction in your tricep. Um, same thing, that was five sets. No crazy shit, so like you don't have to like worry about what I was saying earlier. Just do these like straight sets and give yourself like 45 second rest, 45 minute rest. Don't rest for 45 minutes, you're done. Um, the next exercise, go. Uh, skull crushers to... Oh, skull crushers to the fucking close grip press. Um, and this thing, like I said, when Kevin mentioned this workout to me, I liked it because this is actually something that like, I actually worked out like this all the time back in the day. This was like my typical upper body routine was like chest and tricep, back and bicep. It's a typical bodybuilding type splits mixed with powerlifting stuff. So this really is like back to home for me. So all these things really essentially hit all the same muscles. Like the close grip obviously is hitting your chest and your triceps. This is obviously hitting your chest and your triceps. This is obviously hitting mostly triceps and when you come here it's hitting chest, right? So that's the exercise we're doing now. It's a close grip skull crusher. You guys understand when you're doing skull crushers, you wanna be anywhere from like the bottom of your nose to like your upper lip to like the right between your, your eyebrows. Like you don't really, I mean you can go higher up, but for this one, say anywhere from like here. So the bar is gonna come here, just don't drop it on your face and like break your nose. Make sure you're able to control it and be very strict. So the weight should be a little bit lighter. And as soon as you fatigue like all the way out, again, this is one of those things, don't worry at all about getting a certain amount of reps. Worry about just like gassing the fuck out because it's a mechanical drop set, meaning like well, this weight here is gonna get hard, it's gonna be heavy. Once you start to fail, as soon as you bring it down here, that weight's gonna be light again because you're much like this is all tricep, a little bit of shoulder, but as soon you bring it down here, now you got your chest and your shoulders are involved more. So you're gonna be stronger in that motion. So mechanical drop set right from boom, 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 rep it out, rep it out. Mechanical drop set down and just keep going. Like so it's not stop. So you're boom, 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 you fail. Like fatigue here till like it almost wants to hit your face, but don't let it hit your face. You can kinda like push your elbows forward and it'll kind of sit there, rotate it down, and then press it out. And when you're doing the press out, make sure your elbows are coming out as much as you can, as comfortably as you can. So don't do this like I was doing in the video unless like you're, you're comfortable enough in your rotator cuff and your upper back to do so. Otherwise, like you're gonna go like this and it's gonna hurt your upper back. You can keep your elbows comfortably. So as long as you're, when you're pressing up, straight up, you're contracting your triceps out. Okay, like I said earlier in the close grip bench. So that thing, same thing, five sets, 45 second rest. And then the last exercise is just traditional dips. Come all the way up, get a full contraction. Um, I know, like, I, like again, I was a power lifter. Me always kind of doing these like partial rep shit, um, which is great. You can still do stuff like that, but make sure for this routine, do full reps all the way up, all the way down. Uh, and that's it. I love you guys. I'm out. Oh, and for the tricep dips too, make sure um, you keep your body a little bit more upright because the more the more you lower your chest, like into the dip, the more you're gonna feel like your chest and your shoulders. The more, further upright you can take throughout the movement, you're gonna keep it on your tricep. But either way, it's it's gonna be the chest, shoulder, tricep, and your bicep gets involved in it. Uh, for all these exercises, and yeah, get big arms, get a big chest, who the fuck doesn't want that? I mean, who doesn't want that? Do you know anyone who doesn't want that? Uh, guys or girls? Uh, guys. Guys, no. But your girl wants that, your girl wants big. I don't have a girl. Weird. Bam wants that. Bam doesn't want that, bro. Bam's athletic, like, Bam just wants to like jump really high. No, she's like, no, I need to bring she up right. my She's like, yo, and... I gotta bring my triceps up. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that's right, we were talking about that. 
Whatever, I'll give her a new routine. Bam's actually like athletic as fuck. Super athletic. Yeah, if you guys don't know who Bam is, you guys gotta follow my Snapchat because I Snapchat her like all the time. She's a dog. So, she's a dog. Yeah, yeah sorry, she's a dog. She's not a girl. She's a dog. She's a girl dog. So, um, and she's super pretty. So, remember the last video? Can you put the Snapchat thing right here? But yeah. instead of putting it there for like 0.1 second, okay, like you put it there last here, time, well can you put it there like for at Let least me make like. Let sound and then I'll, I'll 10 seconds after. So. Okay, like. Wait, 10. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Okay. From right now. And then. Yeah. I'm out. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, 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 oh wait. These. Are these out yet? Dang, look at that. Swag. Who's BM Fit? Uh, some guy I know. Yeah? Yeah. Look, he's making some cool shit, though. Can you look? Feel that. Feel that. Feel the material. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. You guys are like these, though. So this is this is out. The red one is out. And the green, really, really dark green, it says raw is out. Um, it should be a link in the description below if you want them. And if they're not out, then they should be out soon. Do you got anything else to add? I felt like you were going to say something. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Never anything to add. Never got anything to add. Just cut it, dude. Why you always, you just keep going. I'm like Nadim. Fuck that guy. Who's Nadim? I, he's a bitch, bro. Nadim fell all the way out. If anyone didn't know, uh, that dude's a bitch. So, did you see his video? Just kidding, I love him. I'm out.